everybody. Welcome back to Clash of the Titans. Um, Battle Spot series. I am just running, right, jumping right into a game here because I didn't, uh, my sound wasn't working, so I stopped the camera to fix it. So uh, I have it working now. It looks like it's working. So uh, I reset my rating. We're back at 1500 um, because I started with a new team. Uh, well, it's an old team. It's the, actually the first team I built for Ultra Series. So I'm jumping right into a game here. I'll show you guys the, other, the opponents in a second. So. Uh, he's got Feeny and Kyogre. I don't know if Feeny still run Haze. I don't know how common that is. So I, I feel like I always feel like I'm gonna see it, and I never do. So I have no Haze. I can just Geomancy here. So I'm running a a, um, a Zerndon team because it was the first team I had for the format. So let's see what we got. We got. 1628 opponent with Ray Ogre, Ferrothorn. It's kind of similar to our last team, except it's got Toy Tomorrow instead of Crobat. So, alright. We're going to Geomancy, and we're just going to fake out this Kyogre. If we get... If it doesn't work, we get Haze, we get Haze. So, he probably has Haze, or maybe he's just Ice Wounding me. Alright, so my Xerneas, this is the same Xerneas I've ran the entire year for all the formats. Um, it's... Obviously, regular Geomancy, Moonblast, Dazzling Thing, Protect Xerneas. Uh, it has quite a bit of physical defense. Because obviously, you're boosting your special defense anyway. It's only got 88 EVs in speed. Okay, you got Icy Wind. So, I didn't get Haze, so that's kind of nice. But one more Icy Wind, and obviously, I'll be back at neutral speed, which is no good. So. I'm going to protect here. And I'm going to parting shot the Kyogre art out into uh, Groudon. So I really like Persian. Like that's Persian. Alolan Persian is probably after Mux, probably my favorite Alolan um, Pokemon. I screwed this up because I'm gonna get. <laughs> oh, he's icy winding with Kyogre. Okay, I'm like I thought I was. I'm under speeding Kyogre because I got icy winded. So I might get double icy winded here, I guess. All right, so I parting shot. Bloop, bloop, bloop. But I didn't get double uh, drop downs or anything. But he's got Icy Wind on Kyogre too, which kind of sucks. Um, anyway, Lolan Persian, I like, I like love, especially for this format because obviously moving moving different parts around is important. So, all right, Groudon. So he doesn't know any idea how fast I am. Um, this is a zero speed Groudon. It is adamant though. It's not like min speed or anything. So, pick up the team a little bit, like. Um, Persian for fast fake out, obviously. It has Quash, which doesn't come in handy very often, but since I have a slow Groudon, sometimes I have won games with just quashing the opponent and then Fressless Blazing, which is kind of nice. Alright, he's gonna die. I guess he's got light screen if he doesn't have these. Alright, so. I'm gonna go for the Moon Blast. Actually, I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam. I'm just gonna Dazzling Gleam. And Fressless Blades. He's got. Mm, I mean, is he really going to switch in Ray or Rayquaza on a Xerneas, though? Mm, I'm betting he doesn't. I'm going to press his blades. Probably a terrible idea. I'll probably just get nuked here by a water move. Alright, okay, he protects. So he's going to Icy Wind again. Which means, okay, it takes back to neutral, right? So he's probably just trying to nuke me with a Rayquaza move. I am faster with this zero speed guard on this. It's a slow Feeny. And I get the knockout anyway, so that's good. Alright, so I had uh, I had luck on online with this team pretty well, and I did like play the first part of Ultra on Battle Spot with it, but I haven't played a lot of Battle Spot with Ultra at all really. So um, it was like my only showdown team that I actually kind of liked actually. So I was trying to kind of recreate Big Six a, a little bit, not really, but uh, it has Mega Salamence on it. It has uh, Feeny on it, kind of similar to that Feeny just knocked out. So this Kyogre can just kill me now, right? I mean, kill Groudon. But is he going to try to go for a... Is he going to try to protect the Rayquaza and Icy Wind me so he can outspeed me next turn? Maybe I should predict or protect. Okay. 
I'm gonna predict, predict that and go into Persian for fake out pressure. Oh, he forfeits. Okay, so he's forfeit. So like, I do see that quite often with this team. I guess with any kind of Zernius team, sometimes that has a reliable way of setting up. Is you get you get Geomancy up, and then all of a sudden the opponent just forfeits. Like if like I do that, you know, like unless you have your check in place. That's one thing with this team that doesn't have a lot of Zernius checks. Uh, I don't have Haze on Feeny. Um, Obviously, we have Groudon, which is somewhat unreliable. So, 101, 1521, that's kind of a big jump for. I didn't remember what the last opponent's score was. Okay, I just got the audio working, so I was like, oh, I'll start recording now, because I didn't want to just play a game with not recording it uh, without the sound. So, let's see. I shouldn't sound up a little bit, too, maybe. Okay. I'm playing late tonight, too. I probably shouldn't be playing. <laughs> I'll probably just rush my moves because I'm playing kind of late. So, hope you guys are kind of liking these videos. Um, last uh, video got like 35 views, I think, which isn't bad for just having it on the Discord, I guess. I did post it on Twitter, but I don't know if I got a lot of attention or not. So, hopefully, it kind of builds popularity as we get into Sword and Shield. And I uh, plan on streaming more if it's, if I get somewhat of a following. I know Battle Spot, Spirit, Battle Spot series are just. Unless you have like a gimmick that goes along with them, like. They're all the same, pretty much, right? I and mean, we can just play on that. I was about to see it, so I like them. So they're entertaining for me. I, you know, I watch a handful of uh, people that post their videos, but um, more of it's just learned formats and stuff like that too. I'm not, I'm not an expert in Ultra Series for I'm sure not. So let's see what we find. So if you're an NBC player, hopefully that uh, you're enjoying the league too. Um, I had my third, uh, or my team had our third week match tonight. Um, we're all for three, which is kind of disappointing, but um, every week is different, right? So it just depends. Okay. A uh, Japanese player with a radon team. Um, hmm. So Xerneas looks good here again, too. I mean, I have faster fake out than him. I mean, he can just. I don't have anything for this. Stack attacker, except for Groudon. So, mm. like you see my team there. Uh, so, I explain it kind of. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Persian and Zernius. Like, mm. I definitely want Groudon. So let's see. I don't want Thunderous. That's more for Kyogre matchups because it's got role play to us reset the weather. And it does have Taunt, and it's obviously immune to... I, I think I want Salamence, it's easy, right? Like, Feeny's not bad, but it's kind of too passive for this. i got to be able to switch out of this re, this um, Rayquaza as best I can. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Like, he leads... Probably wants to lead stack, like stack and center. Like, uh, Persian makes people think, I swear, on, like, uh, Team Preview. Like, oh, Persian, I can't just you know, win the fake out tie or whatever, so now I think about it, but once the game's rolling, it doesn't... It's good for positioning, which is kind of important in Ultra Series, I guess, because your, your Mega and your Restrictions are doing majority of the damage output most of the time, but um, Persian can get in situations where you really can't do any damage to anything, you know? Like, Foul Play is pretty good, uh, especially in a format like this when things have really high attack, but... Alright, Rayquaza and Cinnaroar. So I speed tie with Mega Rayquaza with Persian. But I don't want to just fake out and center on Geomancy, because then he can, you know. I, mean, I obviously could just Moonblast him, too. But then. Hmm, he's got Groudon. I really didn't. Like, not that I didn't consider it, but. Like, who's he fake out here? He's, got, he's gonna fake out Xerneas, right? So, so I have to fake out his Incineroar. So I can, if I can foul play his Rayquaza and protect, let's start there. Because he's gonna figure I'm just faking him out. Foul play is probably a two hit KO on Mega Rayquaza. And then he doesn't get his. Um, he doesn't get his. Dragon Ascent off on Xerneas until next turn. I could outspeed him. A max speed Persian, I get timid. So let's see what happens. 
Alright, I do have, well, I threw him there. So, maybe he's not an XP. I put a sub. Okay. Put a sub, right? Okay, put a sub. So... I Geomancy. Persian breaks the sub. But then I take a... I take a, a Dragon Ascent either way, right? If I foul play him and attack, I knock out Rayquaza and he can't East me next turn. But like, then what? Or... I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna Parting Shot the Rayquaza, hopefully I go, fat. I go first. And I'm gonna Geomancy. Hopefully he doesn't roar me too. Alright, so Parting Shot, right? So he's... Minus one now. But I'm gonna party shot into Salamence, so he'll be he'll be negative two, minus two for attack. And the next turn, I have Hyper Voice, which will go through the sub anyway, and um, I can attack with like you know, uh, Flare Blitz or whatever. Okay, let's see what he does here. Let's see how much this does. He's got subs, so maybe he's, and he's not super fast. So. Okay, I take another one of those. So he definitely is not e speeding. Right? And I got Intimidate off on um, Incineroar too. So we get that up. So I outspeed him with uh, obviously Xerneas now, and I outspeed him with. Unless he roars me. And I outspeed him with Salamence. He just U-turns. Okay, is this that thing? Is this a stack tiger? Probably, right? So, say it's stack attacker. And... Ooh, he wants a trick room. Mm. I mean, he's resisting pretty much everything I got out right now. The Salmon's just a flamethrower, if you ask me why, I thought that was a good idea at first. <laughs> like, it, it comes in handy once in a while, right? But, like, it gets boosted by the sun sometimes with Grout on out. Um, but I'm not running Tailwind because I have Electro Web on Thunderous and I have Icy Wind on Feeny. And I figured, like, Salmon's is. This team has a lot of support uh, roles, you know? Like, it, um, Persian support, uh, Thunderous is support, and. Oh, let's get Coco. Oh, that's weird. And, um. Maybe he's got like Z. I don't know. Does he have like Z Fairy or something then? Hmm. I'm gonna double edge this Rayquaza. And Dazzling Gleam. Like, Dazzling Gleam should knock out Coco, right? Most Coco, my Coco always got knocked out by this. You know, if he's, if he doesn't knock out Coco, that's kind of bad actually, because then he doesn't. I don't get either one of these guys. You know, it might knock out my sound. Okay, Coco was down. I don't think he can survive it unless he's AV. All right. So he loses his uh, thing too. So I double as that slot. Alright, so we figured that out. Alright. So if we get if we get a win here, I mean I'm not rushing anything, but <laughs> that'd be two for this team. Like if this team gets momentum I think it's good, but um I was nervous to bring it to like an actual tournament because it's just I didn't practice with it a whole lot. Alright, Groudon. And it seems like there's common things where it might be weak to. Alright, so this is his, these are his last two. He probably can't Protect, um, probably can't protect. So, getting a fake, okay, I want a fake on next turn. Because either way, I can't intimidate with Salamence anymore, but I can foul play with a Persian and I can Parting Shot too. And I still have full HP with Persian. So, I'm gonna protect, because he's gonna fake me out and go for like a Precious Blaze or something. 
who knows, eruption, I mean, you're doing anything. Alright. Like, this is where I'd want some speed control, though. I, I didn't bring either of my speed control mods, and Groudon, like, it's a speed, it's, you know, it's like speed wars. Dragon Claw. Okay, he's got, he's got Dragon Claw, it's kind of funny. Alright, so I'm gonna Moonblast this Cinderar, see how much that does. If he doesn't knock it out, he can just Flare Blitz me, is the only thing. He ran some. I usually run a lot of attack on my Incineroar, like from max attack most of the time, so I guess maybe he doesn't knock me out with a cover here. So. Oh, I knocked him out, okay. I think he'd be easy to survive that. Okay. Alright. So now the question is, he's got Dragon Claw. So I don't want to run Salamence into a Dragon Claw. I'm going to Foul Play him here and Moonblast him. Just do a bunch of damage to him and see what we can do. Because then Hyper Voice might just knock him out. Oh yeah, that probably has him right there. Special attack zone. Foul Play should do like this. No, okay, fine. But next attack he's dead, right? Oh, you need to miss certain things. Person's good. I think person's like slept on. I feel like you gotta play carefully though. Like if you lose your restricted, you're kind of screwed. All right. So foul play kills and boom blast wins. Okay. So that's two wins. Okay. So that's good. So we're climbing the ladder again. That's not bad for two in the morning. It's two in the morning again. So, all right. Is your recording so late that it's like I don't know if I'm putting on the best performance? Like the moves I'm making make sense to me, and I hope it makes sense when you guys are watching this. Okay. I'll try to get my MDC battle up um, for the weekend too. I know it's on the Discord, but in case you're watching my channel for MBC matches. Uh, comment on one of the videos if you are, and I can uh, invite you to the Discord so you can watch all of the replays. Um, Mid-season through the MBC, the multi battle conference, I will post a video just kind of read, you know, looking at uh, where we sit for the mid-season, um, what the records look like, teams look like, stuff like that. Changing the song to, I only ever listen to Team Rainbow Rocket or the Can Callus League, I guess. Callus Legend. Alright, one more game. Let's see if we can do 3 for 3 on this one. The 3 for 3 the last video, too, and then I, like, went way down. <laughs> like, I lost, like, 3 in a row after that, and I was like, okay. And I did, like, I forgot that if you switch your system, you do reset your, um, you reset your ratings. So I was just going to try to pl play a couple games on my other DS, and it did warn me, and I was like, oh, that's fine. I'm only really a little high, so it doesn't matter. And then I lost a couple more games, and I was like, okay, well, we'll reset it again when we switch back to the other DS because it's connected to the computer, so... Um, okay, 1633 from, uh, uh, Okay, so that's kind of a weird team. Well, interesting team. He's got Hydreigon. I love Hydreigon. So, he's definitely leading, um, he's definitely going to want to lead Lele. So I'm going to go Feeny, right? Feeny... Thernius, it's not so good. Like, it's okay if I don't... I used to have light screen, and I should get that back. So I want Feeny to lead. So I don't really want Xerneas next to it, though. Hmm. I definitely need speed control here. I think I almost have to go Xerneas next to it. Hmm. I think I'm going to try to protect an Icy Wind to see if that actually works. I don't want Thundress. I want Salamence in the back. Hmm. Groudon's okay if I can keep it out of this Psychic Spam. But, like, in terrain, it just... I actually think about putting light screen back. Like, I have swagger, which I I don't ever feel like I, I get the chance to get off of her. So I think I I think I need um, Xerneas to win this one for me. 
Alright, he leads me to Lele to figure. So he's got he has to attack his Ernest, right? Because he can his Geomancy. So but maybe he's kind of on the ladder where he might just expect me to protect Icy Wind. But what is he gonna do then? Can he get I don't think so. I don't know that he can get Xerneas now. I definitely need to Icy Wind. My Geomancy now. He probably thinks I just protect, right? Doesn't he have like a magic room or something crazy? This might be wrong. I'm gonna say a Geomancy. Like, this might be bad. But yeah, I think he's gonna protect me. He's gonna have a magic room or something, or he's gonna protect me to protect me to protect, maybe. I don't think he can maybe not. These size strikes, like this is a pretty bulky Xerneas on the defensive side, and I have heal pulse. I might just lose here. If I get the icy wind off, oh, he's got fairy R too. Okay, he doesn't. Okay, uh, he can't one shot the Xerneas. No way. Oh, he's going to have to clean anyway. Ooh, I'm surprised he one-shot that. Okay, so... That's what I was worried about, right? Now, now I get the Geomancy off. Now he's probably like, oh crap, he just Geomancy in front of my face. So... I get Geomancy off. But I don't have speed control. He's locked in the Moonblast. With... Um... Lily, I'm yeah. He's okay. So I want Groudon here, so it'll cover any switches with Precious Blades. Just get Groudon switch. He's got Groudon in the back. He's got Mewtwo's is restricted. What do you have to counter this? Groudon. So, oh, he's got, yeah, he's got, uh, Neo Lego too, yeah. that's fine. I'm gonna Moonblast this Mewtwo. Like, my investment in Genesis is defensive, not, like, HP or anything. Okay, what is this, Grana? It's in a row. Oh, I missed it again, that. that's fine. Right? Is he protecting? He withdraws. He can grab him. Okay. That's fine. We get three new ones. So is he resetting Lele so it can sci it can not side strike. It can uh, not side strike, but size shock. Like if I get this precious blades off. Of course I miss. That's actually okay. I mean, I'd rather probably miss that target. I don't think I mind that so much. Like, who's he fake out here, right? Like, you fake out Groudon and try to go press his blades and thinking I'm not gonna attack you? I don't want to take damage from anything, so I'm just gonna protect. The thing is, I bring in. Does he switch anything? I'm gonna bring in Salamence. To so intimidate off. Get rid of my intimidate. It might be unnecessary, but. With Hyper Voice and Dazzling Gleam, it should be. And now, see, I wish I had Tailwind. Tailwind's probably better to put out that kind of thing. Because now he's probably thinking, oh, he's just going to Tailwind now, and I'm just dead. Okay, Groudon could attack, but. Boy, Roar. Oh, God, that sucks. Jeez. Alright, I didn't even think about that. I guess there's nothing I can. Well, yeah, I could have knocked him out. Dang it. Should have, uh. Should have thought about that. 
Oh, crap. Now I really wish I had Tailwind. If I had talent, I had a chance here, but I definitely should, should change that. I never use Flamethrower. I guess you have Draco, if anything else. But, Roar God, I'm not super common, you know, like that. I guess I had heard of it. Okay, he's doing that. He's keeping Grot on live, so is he bringing... So he brings in Lele for the Moonblast priority, I guess. Yeah, okay, he brings in Lele for that. Tries to go for Moonblast. So I protect on that. I'm not intimidated. Press this blade's knock out this Lele. It's gotta be kinda fast, right? This scarf has gotta be not too defensive. So I have to hit this Press's blades. And hopefully knock out both targets. And then it's just Mewtwo by itself. And for Groudon, like I'm gonna okay, well I'm getting ahead of myself, I have double edge of Mewtwo and press this blades, single target. Oh he goes for psychic. Okay, so that's not So that makes sense. Am I faster? Ah, miss, 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 miss. No. Okay, so it doesn't miss. So, he's locked in the psychic. Psychic's not gonna KO. I have to Geomancy again. Double Edge Alele. And Geomancy. So the next turn, if this knocks out Lele, or he just fight Ghost for Stone. Close, but knocking out. Oh, it is not going anyway. So, this is a place to run, maybe? <laughs> Am I a chance? But probably not. Okay, so the roar kind of got us, right? We fire punches. Alright, but I don't have my boost yet, so psychic surfing, you get it. If there's not going to come close, I don't know. So, okay, well, we didn't think about roar. That's really the only way we had to win, though, right? Like, we had to have Xerneas up, so I guess we could have thought about that, but I just don't see it very much. Yeah, okay. I figured if we win, maybe we can just survive that, but I don't have any special, special defense investment. Okay, so that's all right. Two wins, one loss. Kind of just something somewhat unusual, uh, losing to the Roar Groudon. I guess it's more common now than uh, we didn't credit for, but... Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll have to think of what to call it. It's too late in the morning to, or too early in the morning to come up with a clever name. So, alright, we posted this in a couple days. So, uh, leave me any suggestions, you guys, uh, for any other content you'd like to see, or, uh, different teams to try out, anything like that. I'll probably play this team a couple times today. It is kind of making the format fun again for me, um, just because it's one I came up with first, I guess. I don't know. So, okay, that's all I have for now. So, I'll see you guys soon.